Most people are shocked that you can make this into faux chicken. Hey guys, I'm Maddie, and I want to help you transition to veganism as easily as possible. So if you've been wanting to try more plant-based recipes, but you're not really sure where to start, I have got you covered because today we are going over seven different chicken replacements and some recipes on how to use them. I actually used to eat chicken quite often before I went vegan. It was one of the meats that I ate pretty much all the time. But of course, after I learned about the industry and what really happens, that's when my perspective completely changed. So if you do want to know why I don't eat chicken anymore, I will leave that video in the description box down below. But thankfully, nowadays there are plenty of substitutes and alternatives. So with that, let's get into our chicken replacements. Number one is going to be soy curls. These are a product that I started using maybe only like a year ago, but I absolutely love them. They are super easy to use, they are non-GMO, and they're actually made from whole soybeans, so they're even considered a whole food. And these are also great because you can store them in your pantry, they are shelf stable, they don't need to be refrigerated, and when you're ready to use them, you can just rehydrate them. So I like to rehydrate them in a little bit of vegan chicken flavored bouillon, but you can also just use plain warm water. And then when cooking them, they will just soak up whatever sauce or marinade you use. So they really do take on a lot of good flavor. And they're really versatile. You can use them basically anywhere where you would find chicken pieces. So for example, chicken noodle soup, you can use them in fajitas, on top of a salad, you can use them in stir fries, etc. So if you want more info on these soy curls, I will link them down below. Next up, we have oyster mushrooms, and there are actually a few different kinds of oyster mushrooms. The most common ones I see are these king oyster mushrooms and the black oyster mushrooms. And what kind of oyster mushroom you choose is going to depend on the recipe that you're going to make. If you want something that has a shredded chicken texture, I would recommend using king oyster mushrooms. These shred very nicely and can be used in recipes like tacos, enchiladas, basically anywhere where you would need a shredded chicken texture. And then the black oyster mushrooms are great for any recipe where you would need larger chicken like pieces, so things like a chicken shawarma in a pasta dish like a vegan chicken alfredo, or I also commonly see them deep fried, you could use them for something like chicken and waffles. Next, we have jackfruit, which is actually a fruit, so I know a lot of people are usually like, what? How can you make fruit into chicken? But just hear me out, this is young green jackfruit, which is actually quite different from the ripened, yellow, very sweet tasting jackfruit that you might find at the grocery store that looks like this. So that is the fully ripened jackfruit. It is very sweet. It is not the one you are looking for for a meat replacement. If you want a meat replacement for chicken or sometimes it's also used as a pulled pork, you're going to want the young green jackfruit. It comes in a can in brine. So when using jackfruit as a chicken replacement, it is also similar to the king oyster mushroom in that you would want it for wherever you would need a shredded chicken texture. So for example, on tacos, on pizza, maybe in a pot pie, anywhere you would need a shredded chicken in like a slow cooker recipe or a barbecue shredded chicken, you get the idea. Next up, we have tofu, a classic meat replacement. Tofu is probably one of the most common chicken replacers. Now, my pro tip for tofu, and if you watch my channel a lot, you've probably heard me say this before, is to try freezing your tofu. This will help draw out a lot more water. Once you defrost it, you can actually wring it out with your hands. It will also help the texture of the tofu to not be so spongy. And a lot of people say that after it's been frozen, it tastes a lot more meat-like. And then of course, once all that moisture is removed, it will be ready to soak up any sauces or marinades, and that will help with the flavor as well. So with tofu, I like to make stir fries, of course, marinade and baking it, chicken nuggets, etc. Now this one is probably the most unique out of all of our chicken replacements, and most people are actually shocked that you can make this into faux chicken. Yes, we are talking about seitan, also known as wheat meat. So seitan is made of either vital wheat gluten, or you can actually just use regular plain old flour, which is what I have here. Just any plain all-purpose flour will work. If you guys haven't seen the viral videos that have been circulating TikTok and YouTube with this wheat meat, I will leave some of those in the description box down below so you can check them out. But this technique has actually been around for hundreds of years and it is pretty remarkable how much it looks like chicken and actually can taste like chicken as well if you season it properly. So with seitan you can make fried chicken, chicken nuggets, you can make chicken breasts or little chicken cutlets, pretty much any chicken product that you can think of can be made with seitan. It is also the highest in protein of all of our chicken substitutes, even higher than tofu. So if you are looking for something that's high protein, you might want to try out seitan. Next up we have another popular substitute, cauliflower. Now I do feel this one is a little bit more tricky to get a very chickeny taste and texture out of. However, every time I've had it in a recipe, I've always really liked it. The most popular way to use it, which you've probably seen before, is to make buffalo cauliflower wings. And I've also seen it in recipes for orange cauliflower as like a take on orange chicken. I've done the cauliflower wings before and I loved them. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below. 
And our final chicken replacer is store-bought chicken. Now, I remember when I first went vegan, there were not a lot of faux chicken options. There was always like the fried chicken or chicken nuggets, which there are still a lot of, but now it seems like there are also a lot more plain varieties popping up as well. There's a company I've recently heard about called Daring and also one called Sweet Earth Foods, neither of which I have been able to find in Canada yet, but we do have some other options. We have Light Life. There is a PC brand one as well. And of course, Guardian. Pro tip, seasonings are the most important thing you will need. If you think back to cooking regular chicken breast, you would never just cook it plain without any spices or seasonings or marinade on it. And vegan chicken is going to be the same. Something I like to use a lot is a vegan chicken bouillon. And then of course your regular spices and marinades are always going to be a good addition as well. So if you'd like to see how I use some of these substitutes in recipes, that will be in the next video. Or if you want to keep your chicken substitute to something that is super easy to find at the grocery store, you have to try the vegan cauliflower buffalo wings. I thought this recipe was delicious. Highly recommend you guys try it out. And with that, let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.